It's another beautiful summer's day here on PEI and like all islanders I'm reminded once again of how blessed we are to live in this special place. And that's why I was so disappointed when both government and the official opposition this week publicly stated that they were unwilling to protect this special place by putting a price on carbon pollution. That to me is both short-sighted and irresponsible. The three primary industries here on Prince Edward Island, farming, fishing and tourism, are all dependent on stable, predictable weather. And yet the PCs and the Liberals seem comfortable playing politics with both our economic well-being and our children's future. The Environment Minister has said that he's fighting for islanders. Doesn't he realise that um, Ottawa has given us the opportunity to craft a carbon pricing plan that not only meets the needs of the province but also addresses the concerns of islanders? You know, instead of showing the leadership that we need, we're going to have a plan imposed upon us. Yet, as bad as government's plan is, the progressive conservatives' position is, is even worse. Just this week, in a press conference, uh, PC leader James Aylward stated that he would use all means available to him, up to and including what would be inevitably a very expensive Supreme Court challenge to stop a carbon tax on Prince Edward Island. I don't think he realizes that you can put a price on carbon pollution and at the same time protect our most vulnerable citizens and actually put money back in the pockets of islanders. We understand that islanders are wary of a new tax and the impacts it may have on already limited budgets. This is not the time for us to have um, a fear-mongering, fear uh, denial, uh, or a conversation that doesn't include meaningful solutions about how we can address the needs of islanders and how we can protect our environment. There is broad consensus among economists that a carbon pricing plan is the way to address the challenges of climate change and it is fiscally irresponsible as well as morally irresponsible for us not to, um, to take that advice and think carefully about what really matters to us. Our future generations are relying on us now to make good decisions and we're proud to be a part of that, that discussion. We can't sit idly by and simply watch our future being washed away. I've always believed that PEI can and should be a world leader when it comes to adopting innovative solutions as we transition to a greener energy future. The question isn't whether we should put a price on carbon pollution, it's finding the most effective way to do that that will reduce emissions, that will put money back in islanders' pockets, and particularly those who are low and middle income islanders. That's going to take real political leadership.